hey guys so um i'm redoing this portion of the video if i look a little bit different or if it seems like it's a little bit darker it's because it's way later in the night and i realized as i'm editing that i did not record the first part of the video <laughs> so here we are it's been about three weeks it's been exactly three weeks since i started the build a booty challenge And I am coming to you in this state because I want to be transparent about the whole journey. <laughs> also, I'm a little annoyed, okay? <laughs> so over, over the last week, I've been developing a system for midlife women who are seeking to have wellness or incorporate it as part of their schedule. And having lost weight previously without any exercise or real physical demand, I have the hardest time going slow and building up more, adding more intense workouts. But I'm doing my best to stay on track. I'm sorry. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> Anyways, this week, while I'm still kind of juggling insomnia, I'm doing what I call the sparkle workout. And this means that I'm doing squats, push-ups, planks, and some walking for cardio. And then I'm increasing the reps by 10 each each week. So, and by one minute for the planks. So 10 minutes for the walking, 10, 10 reps for the, um, the squats, and 10 reps for the planks. So now I'm also doing yin yoga at the moment. I'm doing it at nighttime to honor Leslie Fightmaster. Hi everybody, it's Leslie Fightmaster. Today's class is a yin yoga class or stretching class. I've had a lot of requests for this type of class. She recently passed away. She was pretty young and I've been following her workouts for about maybe about six years now. So I'm gonna do some yin yoga to um, honor her, to stretch and release some tension. I have also completed the blog and I've started building the Blissful Body Babe site, but that's, it's going to take a while. So in the meantime, I'll be parking the blog on my freelance website. Now I have included a link in the description for the blog, five exercises for uh, middle-aged women to get fitter at home, even when they're tired. So once the triple b website is ready i'll move it there also i've included a what i eat in a day portion but it's not much since i'm back on omad in hopes of shifting my weight down a bit because again i increased my calories and so i'm eating close to a thousand daily kind of struggling with um so i want to be able to shift my weight back again. so yeah this is the long haul plan that i'm hoping to get back into fitness that's more enjoyable and that can last me for good but you know <laughs> it will get there can you imagine if i'm a big booty millionaire i'd be happier than a pig in shit <laughs> but i digress anyways i want to say this um spring is my worst season for the sniffles i have allergies coming out the wazoos so you guys are gonna hear me don't be dissuaded or turned off by it i'm so sorry it's not corona hugs i i, I thank you for being understanding okay so now i'm gonna go into the actual portion of what i eat in a day which seemed to be the only portion that was recorded so now you guys are gonna see my son, um, chef, making some shrimp tacos. And he's all fancy, fancy, but um, he's making the shrimp, the guac, like a chunky version of guacamole. I guess it's a, um avocado salad. And he's putting in some peppers, some tomatoes and onions and stuff. And now here he's making a, um, a shrimp broth that he's gonna reduce and turn into a sauce that he later drizzles on top of the tacos really really good and so now he's um, just cooking the shrimp as you can see and so when he plates it he puts it together with some um, cilantro and he see he's cooking it in the sauce he puts it with cabbage and then there's the guac salad and there are the tortillas oh those are so good and so now he's just plating it now to this plate after this was served i additionally uh, i went ahead and added in some ground beef 
So that's the avocado he's adding. And then the serving of shrimp. And then some uh, garlic, I think that was. Oh no, those are the limes. Oh yeah, the zest of lime juice was just amazing in this dish. Like I really want to do this dish again. It's really, really, really good. So as you can see in this dish, I added in some extra ground beef to boost the protein and those roasted antipasto peppers were so good. Either way, we added in some smoothie and um, so the tacos were about 300 calories or 320 calories each and I had three of those so that's 960 and then I also had um, a cup of mango strawberry smoothie which is 150 so that now is 11 10 i believe or something like that and then later on i had another two tacos which is something like 650 so i'm all the way up to like 17 1800 calories at this point so that is pretty much it for this week there is no major change i haven't measured my butts i don't think that it's gotten much bigger but i am feeling motivated to continue and to just keep building my body and to keep seeing how much muscle i can gain within this um year and doing the little challenges in time i'll do more of the what i eat in a day when i have my um food my relationship with food figured out a little bit better i'll do a bit more of what i eat in a day what i am consuming try on hauls for different um workout gear and all those things but for now this is what i've done this is week three and um yeah we've come to the end of the video i'm kind of babbling here because again i had a beautiful presentation and i just didn't record it either way guys remember to like and share this video and if there is someone you know who is looking a mom someone in their midlife who is looking to reclaim their body and to rebuild their muscles and just to generally feel good and have optimal health remember to share this video with them we're trying to build this and to just reach uh people who are looking to consciously reclaim reclaim their lives and to just do a little bit better than what they've been doing in the past so like share and comment on the video let me know what it is that you guys are doing to build your butt so i can copy that and if you have some success stories please feel free to share it with us check out the blog it's linked in the description i can't talk anymore i'm gonna get off of here and i will talk to you guys next week